Let's say on top of the fill, the Carter in three, the devil made me do it. Now I know what I'm gonna say. The Warrens are frauds. So what? There's movies about stuff that isn't real, we don't complain. We don't complain about movies about people who aren't real, so why can the Warrens have their own movie? And basically just to pay devil's advocate. If they were real paranormal investigators, they wouldn't really care about making movies, would they? Warren, Warren was alive in the first two came out, I believe. She had a cameo in the first one, so if their true craft was being paranormal investigators, they would not have these multi-million dollar franchises in their names if all they really cared for normal activity. So, you know, they can make their money, it's fine. The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do is the 2021 film. Yes, the 2021 film. Crazy, right? And it revolves around the murder case when a man was possessed and murdered somebody. And the Warrens have to prove he was possessed. It actually reminds me that the first Conjuring film was going to be sued for millions, like for how much millions of, millions of dollars because of based on a true story, but I literally had to prove in court that ghosts are real. It was weird. It's kind of a meta thing. Anyway, so Arnie, in the beginning of the opening, they rip off their sister so much, they rip off the shot, the taxi and everything. So the kid's being exercised, and it's kind of a funny scene, not funny, but he starts court torting, and I keep thinking of John Waters, and he said in his filthy rule things, like, I need an opening that, you know, a, 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 ch a horrible child contortionist, I was going to think when he saw that. Anyway, throughout the exorcism, Artie, the boyfriend of the sister of the kid, I thought they were brothers, the way they talked to each other, he told me so brave, I thought they were brothers. Anyway, the boyfriend devised the demon in it, which is also an exorcist reference, and basically, now he's possessed, and the demon kills somebody, but there has to be sacrifice, because the person who's an occultist needs to claim victim souls, because that person summoned the demon, we find out. And without giving too much away, I will say is this. This is not directed by James Wan in that Haunted House movie, which is kind of a detriment to the film. The Conjurings were a lot more fun than this. They're not original, there's animal horror. They even reference animal, they even do an animal horror thing in the second movie. It was weird because usually the opening scene is a non sequitur, meaning it's not in the movie. The first Conjuring is Annabelle, the second one's Annabelle. This, the whole movie is pieced together. And the direction is okay, it's right to lie around, she's much better on the owner. Where they got to defend Artie, doesn't, isn't convinced that demons are real. So they invite her to their house, the warrants, to their house with a bunch of cool shit, spooky shit, and they just cussed her trembling in the courtroom. I would like to see all that stuff in their room again, but we've seen it so many times, that doesn't matter. It was a funny cutaway gag. Uh, there's a lot of comedy in this film, which is great. Special is very funny. And... There's one scene that made me laugh so hard, not because it's funny, because I thought it was wrong. Basically, you know how uh, Lorraine has connection? She had to touch the hand of a dead girl who was also murdered by the Satanist cult. And she said, there's another way I imagine her, like, you know, touching the dead body. And it, just, it came very inappropriate in my mind. I was like, oh my god, that's horrible. It's not going to beat the scene of Ash was evil dead when Ash had his whole head in the colon of a very well hung man with Prince Albert and Ash was evil dead season two. And there's also a lot of fat, naked man. That's an R-rated movie, so you didn't get to see his junk anyway. It doesn't matter. Uh, other uh, I like the guy played Artie. He wasn't that great, but he was very serviceable as a man who just has to ask scared the whole time. I really did like the sweetness of his girlfriend. It was kind of it was kind of counterbalancing the sweetness and love of... The reason I like the Conjuring movies is because usually I don't like demonic movies. I am a man of faith. I do believe in God, so I mean, I believe in the devil too. So, take with that as you will. If you're an atheist, it's fine. And if you don't believe in what I believe, it's fine too. If you're watching my video, that means you support me in the way. But it makes me I'm eternally grateful for you. But, my thing is, I don't like demon stuff. I believe in it, so I'm scared of it. I won't even play with it fucking hands or a Ouija board, let alone a real one. But the thing about the Conjuring movies, they're fun films. Even though they're scary, good always prevails. And in my mind, that's true about anything. Even if you don't believe in God or in the devil, you know good people will always outweigh the bad. There's way more good people in this world than bad people, which I think is great. And it, like I said, love is the secret weapon in this movie. Uh, she kind of, the, the cult is trying to get Owen Wilson to kill his wife by accident, by possessing him, but their love is not their weakness, it's their strength. And you get to see them how they met. And that's really what the heart of the movie is, the love between the Warrens and the love between Artie and his girlfriend. And yes, he does get off like a porn star. Not really. He gets manslaughter, which is still kind of bad. But he only serves five years. Like, what the fuck? 